Hey everyone, it's Solvi. Today we are going to be drawing um, a new D&D character of mine. Actually, my very first time ever playing as a dark elf. I'm super excited to give this character a try. Um, in my DM's lore, drow have inanimate object names, so this is Morningstar, which I picked because it's both beautiful and nature-like, but also a weapon. When I was doing this sketch, I fully intended for this to be like a quick drawing, pretty simple and pretty flat, and then I decided actually that I wanted to do some pretty extreme dramatic lighting. So to get that set up, I first block out the character in just a real dark gray, and I throw down a nice dark background as well. I'm also referencing an image of dramatic lighting off screen. Um, and you are actually currently watching my first attempt to lay down flat colors, but ultimately I decided that I wasn't happy with this and that it was looking a little bit too muddy for me. So I ended up starting over with the flat colors, which I'm doing now. Uh, this time I'm laying down my colors with the airbrush and I'm using the lasso tool to keep things really sharp and clean. You can see now that I'm laying out these really, really sharp highlights. I wanted to push myself to do highlights with a hard edge which is something that's honestly a little bit intimidating to me. But you can see that using the lasso and the airbrush tool, this already looks much cleaner and neater. I'm also going for a more digital rendering look this time. I want it to look very smooth and polished, so the lasso and the airbrush tool was the way to go. For his expression, I wanted him to look um, a little bit nervous, a little bit shy. Dark elves are generally uh, regarded with some suspicion, so even though he's a paladin and I'm thinking he'll probably be lawful good, he's still a little bit nervous about the way other people perceive him. Sometimes it is really tricky for me to pull off white eyes, but I think I managed it this time. Some people manage to do like white eyes and white eyelashes and white eyebrows and white hair and it like still looks good um, but for me it always just ends up looking like soup so i decided to give him dark lashes and dark eyebrows to help give a little bit more contrast in his face i also had a lot of fun with the white hair bringing in these like blue and lavender shadows to give a little bit more depth you can also see that i really push the pink in his ears to make them seem more translucent and I think it gives his skin tone a lot more life rather than if it was just like a flat purple. Now this video is almost over and I have still not started rendering his hand yet. Luckily for me, the hand was in a pretty straightforward position this time, so rendering it actually didn't take me very long. Outside of his shoulder pauldron and all those hard shadows, his armor also ended up being pretty simple this time and pretty easy to render. You can see that I'm starting that now. I actually really enjoy rendering metal, um, maybe I'll make a video just about that sometime, what do you guys think? And that's mostly what I'm doing at the end here is rendering his holy symbol, um, finishing up the rest of his armor, and at the last minute I adjust the hard light on his pauldron to be a little less severe because it was looking uh, just a bit too intense. A few more finishing touches, um, pumping up the saturation one more time, and he's done. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, I hope you all enjoyed it, and let me know what you'd like to see more of in the comments below.